Hello everyone, this is Oshini Dajgupta from Chinta. I hope you are doing really well. Today, I want to share with you something really cool and exciting. Uh, in mathematics, we often try to add things. We, we try to multiply things. I think once Feynman said that in mathematics, if you know how to add, multiply, subtract and divide, you basically know all of mathematics. This is not really wrong if you very carefully think about it. So whenever we look at stuff, we would, would like to combine them in some way. Uh, and today I want to show you a really interesting thing that I recently learned. Uh, there is an excellent uh, teacher and uh, mathematician called uh, Sailesh Shirali. I think Dr. Sailesh Shirali. He has also written books on mathematical Olympiads. So I learned it from an article uh, written by him. Uh, so this is how to multiply points on a circle. Uh, let, me, let me show you a little bit about how that works and then why it is very interesting and exciting. So <clears throat> suppose we have a circle. Uh, let me draw a circle here. That's that's close enough. We have a circle and I want to prescribe, I want to prescribe a method of multiplying points on the circle. When I say multiply, you have to think about it like this. It's a process that takes input two points, which are getting multiplied and it's giving out a third point. So it's sometimes known as a binary operation. A binary operation. So you multiply, you combine two points and you get a third point. So how do you do it? Well, first you fix a point, any point on the circle. Let's call that point O. You can think of this as the base point as the base point of this circle. Now, you pick up any two points, let's say A and B. You pick up any two points on the circumference of the circle and I will give you a method, I'll give you a prescription that you can use to multiply to this, two of these points. So, combine two of these points to produce a third point. This particular multiplication or combination rule, I denote it by star. So how do we find out this third point, the output point? So what we do is we just join AB by a segment and from O, let's change the color, draw a line that is parallel to AB. From O, draw a line that is parallel to AB. Wherever it hits, that point is A star B. Wherever it hits, <coughs> that point is A star B. This is how we define it. Now, let's take another point C. So, let's take another point. Let's say this is C. Now we would want to calculate A star B star C. Let's see how we can do that. Well, A star B we know. We just join A star B with C. And then from O, draw a line parallel. So it will be like really small line. Draw a line parallel to this segment and wherever it hits this is a star b star c so this is a rule of combination of points on the circumference of the circle does is this is this rule associative so let's check that with this example again let's change the color Associative means that is this equal to A star B star C. 
So can I first star B and C, and then I star uh, B star C with A? Is that possible? Okay, let's see. So to, ca to calculate B star C, we have to first join BC like this. And from O, draw a line that is parallel to BC. Wherever it hits, that's B star C. Now combine that with A. How do we, how do, we do that? Well, we join A and B star C like this. And from O, we draw a line that is parallel to B star C. Oh, that's the same point. Do you see that? I mean, experimentally speaking, this works. Experimentally speaking, this works. This little line, this point where we landed, is the same point. So already this is interesting because this product rule that we created, this is a show associative. And if you know a little bit of geometry and some bits of higher mathematics, one of the reasons we often include group theory in our higher math Olympiad levels is because you get to see this beautiful, rich interplay between algebra and mathematics. And uh, as soon as you see an operation that is associative in nature, you immediately think, oh, this is forming a group. This is forming a group. So let me just go ahead and talk about something called the inverse. So let me just pull this up. This is, let's draw the circle one more time, just to have a clear picture. Take up base point O. Okay. So I want, and let's take any point A here. Uh, let's use a color, different color. A. Okay. So I want something called the inverse of A. What does that mean? It means that I want to start that with A, what is that? We don't know. We, we need to figure out that point such that we get O back. Okay, before we do that even, what happens if you start A, any point A with the base point O? What do you get? Okay, let's do, let's do that. A star O, A star O, Let's use the prescription. Join AO. That's the first point, first uh, step. Then from the point O, draw a line parallel to AO. Well, that's the same line. From the point O, draw a line parallel to OA. From the point, from point O, draw parallel to OA. Well, that's OA. Wherever it hits, that's the point, but it hits at A, which means A star O is A. Same as O star A. So, in this language, if you multiply O with any point, you will get the point back. So that point is known as the, so O we can call as the identity. This is the identity. Identity means if you multiply it with anything, any point A, you will get the point A back. Now, we want the inverse. Now we want the inverse. Inverse means we want a point which when multiplied with A gives the identity. How do we get it? Well, this will be a challenge problem for the students who are watching this video. 
I'll give you a hint. It is another point. It is another point on the circumference. So let's say a point like this. B. You have to find out which point that is. Such that if you join AB and draw a line through O parallel to AB that hits only O in the circumference. A line through O that hits only O in the circumference. What can that line be? Can you think about it? And then can you also tell me how to construct the inverse point B in the comment section? Mathematics is filled with some connections, the connections like this between geometry, algebra, arithmetic, number theory, all, everything is connected. And um, mathematical Olympiads are exciting because they show you this connection every day through every problem. It's not easy, it's fun, and it's exciting and it's challenging. That's why we do it, right? So think about it and uh, bring an answer in the comment section about the inverse point, and I'll see you in the next video, all right? Stay well and stay happy. Bye.